It might finally be over for Jojo Siwa. So if you guys don't already know, Jojo Siwa recently broke the internet in the past couple months with her brand new song, Karma. Now in the music video of this song, she would be doing a bunch of different suggestive dances, which was very unusual for Jojo Siwa. Over the past few years, she's created a brand based off basically being a girly girl, selling things like bows and a bunch of other products that were targeted towards kids. And let me tell you, these products were extremely successful. In fact, nowadays, Jojo Siwa is even worse Worth upwards of 20 million dollars which is just absolutely insane now her brand originated from her making music leads and if you guys are too old to know what musically is it was basically the original tiktok but people would just lip sync to songs and she would gain a pretty large following on there <coughs> And uh, yeah, that's how she basically got started. But ultimately, she would then switch over to music, which would become her main thing after multiple of her songs began doing extremely well, especially the song Boomerang, which would gain over 1 billion views on YouTube to this day. Yeah, I just said 1 billion fucking views. So yeah, she would continue making music for the next few years, making basically the exact same type of music she's made since the beginning, with the genre being pop that's mainly targeted towards younger girls, until all of a sudden, she would make a drastic change, which would make basically the entire internet hate her. Within the span of only a couple weeks, she would completely change her public image by dressing up more dark and mysterious, almost taking inspiration from people like Kanye West and Playboy Cardi. But let's be honest, she is no Playboy Cardi. In fact, Jojo Siwa would even ruin her reputation even more with a tweet that was posted only a couple days before this video was uploaded. This tweet would be a picture of a magazine cover that she was on, wearing one of the most insane outfits I think I've ever seen. Not only is this extremely revealing to her young audience, but it's just downright disgusting. People would end up replying to this tweet stating, her only way to remain relevant is by shock value and making people talk about her negatively. Why does she look like that in the media? But like in the kids section of the local grocer, showing a picture of multiple drinks that she has, where she has the same look as her old child persona. There would be tons of videos made about her from popular YouTubers, including Patrick CC, that would get millions and millions of views, talking about how scuffed her entire come up actually was, and how the entire her internet essentially turned on her. Considering that everything she had ever posted on Instagram was a 4K quality photo of her smiling and wearing bright colors, the grainy dim lit photos with one curse word in the caption was actually a drastic change. I think Jojo is in her fk it era. It looks so illegal to see Jojo putting a curse word on her captions. She's in her Miley Cyrus era. I'm torn. My daughter likes rainbows and bows Jojo, but I'm invested in this fk it Jojo. I want to know what's happening. Despite a large amount of people People hating the new Jojo Siwa, there were also a lot of people who were interested in her new persona, wondering what she was gonna do next, as it kind of reminded them as the Miley Cyrus fuck it era from over 10 years ago. Regardless, she still didn't take any consideration for the kids that still watch her content, the kids that she's literally feeding all of this content to without any remorse. I understand if you want to switch your whole public image, but doing it so suddenly just like this probably isn't the best way. You could have slowly done it for at least one, two, or maybe three years and it would have been a lot more respectable and most people probably wouldn't even judge you for it however after she began rolling out trailers for the song everyone and i mean everyone was making fun of it not to mention that the new outfit she was wearing and just overall the way she presented herself was incredibly cringe i mean everyone was talking about it adults looking at jojo's imagery ironically look at this like a kid who's trying so hard to be an adult that it just makes her look even more like an uncomfortable kid some of the most respected people in the world have come up to me and been like what you're doing right now is so right it is so right it is what the world needs like i'm lit i'm i'm learning from what you're doing right now and that's crazy to me i mean i heard that from lil nas x yesterday heard it from megan trainer a few days ago it, it blows my mind it blows my mind the support from people like that but again no matter how much she tried to build up hype people couldn't be less enthusiastic about this release. And JoJo's attempts at being a badass just gave the internet more fuel to make fun of her. Dream guest on my podcast? Oh my gosh. I mean... Honestly, let's spice things up, one of my exes. Oh? So, Jojo Siwa wouldn't even be respected from the older audience, which is the type of people that she's now trying to promote her persona to. It's also kind of funny how she tries to play off a badass attitude about everything, where she literally would say things like, I'm a bad girl, I've done bad things, even though this is the type of music she was making in the past. Literally music about confronting bullies at school. I mean, this shit's just wild to me, I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. And I also do want to mention that it is 100% okay if she wants 
to, you know, change her persona. However, this sudden of a switch is kind of crazy, especially considering the fact of how many young fans she has, and I'm sure many of them are getting influenced by this behavior. And I guarantee you a bunch of these parents don't appreciate the kind of stuff that JoJo's putting on the internet and that their kids are watching. The main reason why nobody is taking her seriously is because she is trying to push this bad girl era, but everything she does just proves that this persona is not genuine. Firstly, let's just get this out of the way. The Kiss-inspired makeup has to be the least authentic thing any rebellious person would ever do. Then again, it's perfectly fitting because Kiss was basically a glorified children's band. Their music was considered badass and rebellious if you were ages 8 to 13 in 1975, which are likely the ages of people that currently think Jojo Siwa is badass and serving rock star looks. Yeah, I'm just gonna be completely honest, I don't think anyone actually thinks Jojo Siwa is badass. The look that she's trying to go for in most of her new stuff is clearly inspired by a bunch of other popular artists in the space, like I said previously, being Kanye or Playboy Cardi, Ken Carson, all these guys, who are all very popular, successful artists. Now, her completely switching her persona to this, and so suddenly, might I add, is definitely not a good idea considering the brand that she's already grown. And even though she was dark and mysterious whenever she first made her switch, the pictures she's been making have gotten even more provocative, like I mentioned in a recent tweet, where she literally had a, I guess, dingling and a male upper body on. It's just crazy that anyone in their right mind would tell her that posting this kind of stuff is okay. And on top of that, in multiple interviews she's done with people, she's even called herself a badass, which is honestly pretty hilarious. And Patrick would even call her out for this, saying that she's not the one who can declare her herself a badass. That's the audience's job. Jojo seems to lack the understanding that she doesn't get to declare herself as badass and iconic. Other people have to do that for her. It's like declaring yourself a legend or putting yourself in the hall of fame. You don't get to do that. Other people determine your public perception. It's like she wants the credit before ever putting in the work. Plus she has the money, time, and resources to actually put in the work. Put in the 10,000 hours to grow and change into the artist that she claims she can be. Honestly, I think the evolution of Jojo Siwa is going to be very interesting. It's going to be interesting, you know, seeing what she's going to do in the future with her music and also just her entire persona. However, there's also obviously a bunch of things that I don't agree with, mainly relating to the influence that she has on a lot of young girls and boys, mainly girls, and the kind of stuff that she's promoting to them, including these very, very mature topics. I mean, she's literally been tweeting out these insane pictures of her wearing basically nothing and posting it on multiple social media sites, not to mention this overall dark and gloomy aesthetic that's for more mature audiences. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, then do be sure to drop a like and also subscribe. Let's try to hit a thousand likes on today's video. That would be absolutely amazing. And also, subscribing really does help as I post every one to two days. I've been on the absolute grind recently trying to find interesting topics to make videos on, and I'm really happy you guys are enjoying them. But anyways, I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace out.